What's up, sweetie pies? My name is Cake Game Lady, and welcome to part three of Hattiful Boyfriend. Well, in the last part, we went through a couple of days of going to classes, going on these hikes, and doing everything else. And we talked to Ryota many times because this is the route that we're taking, the Ryota route. And hopefully that the two of them would get together because, like usual, I don't even know if this is going to be a happy ending or not. We'll probably see. But I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in this part, so why don't we get started, shall we? Here we go. In a different room from next period, right? Why would we be in a different room? I thought we'd stay in this room for the whole, you know, year. Barely two hours into the day and I'm already hungry. Ugh, I can't bear this. Ryota, we're in the textile room next, right? Let's walk together. What's the textile room? Uh, sure. Okay, he's hesitant. What's wrong? Huh? That was an awfully enthusiastic response. Yeah. Um, you don't look too good. Are you okay, Ryota? Yeah. I I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go. Ugh. Ah, oh boy. Is he sick? You're not fine. Yeah. It's my stomach. Well, he has that weak stomach. I guess that's bothering him now. This happens all the time. It's nothing to worry about. I wonder, what do you take when you have a weak stomach? That is a good question. I'll just go to the infirmary for a bit. Could you let the teacher know, please? Well, they forgot the S in please. Can you make it there on your own? Yeah, you don't want me to walk you there? In case? Yeah, I can. Thanks. See you in a bit. Well, see ya. It's a shame we can't walk him down to the infirmary. I don't even trust that shoe guy. He never showed up for third or fourth. Oh, boy. Is he still in the infirmary? I have no idea. I'll go check on him after I eat lunch. Why not now? A cogla marches on her stomach, after all. Okay. Ryota! Oh, he's here? Oh. Hello. Are you okay? You look even worse than you did earlier. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea what he was doing in the infirmary that long. I'm fine. Sitting around just makes it nervous. I guess you have to walk around. I got some medicine from the doctor, but... Yeah... I'm not convinced that the medicine is doing him any good. And when was he taking all this time? I wouldn't trust anything that the doctor prescribed. Something's wrong if you go to the infirmary feeling sick and go home feeling worse. Wait a minute, Ryota. I'm going to give that doctor a piece of my mind. Oh boy. Wait, Kagala! It's not his fault. I just have a weak stomach. But he is a doctor. He should know what to do. I'm going to... Even if he can't, like, cure a weak stomach, he should give, like, treatments that actually help you feel better. Go yell at the doctor, stay here. Go yell at him. This will be fun. That has nothing to do with it! I'll be back in a minute. I wonder what she's gonna say. Doctor! Doctor Aramine? Barging in the door and shouting for the doctor is hardly accepted practice. Shall I prepare a sedata for you? Ah, uh, no, I'm not taking any of your drugs. No, thank you. I want to talk to you about Ryota. Ryota? Oh, Mr. Kurara. He left some time ago. Yeah, I just saw him. He rested here for two hours and wasn't any better for it. You did something to him, didn't you? Wouldn't it have been worse to do nothing to him? Doing things to people is my job, after all. But is actually helping him or something worse? Well, yes, but... I mean, something unnecessary. I'm afraid I can't respond to complaints with no evidence. I examined his condition and provided him with the appropriate medicine. Beyond that, it's all down to how quickly his body recovers. You can't be possibly holding me responsible for his unhealthy nature, can you? Not really, I just want you to help him, that's it. Wah! He's probably right. He doesn't have anything to do with Ryota's weak body. Yeah, that's true, but isn't it better to give him treatment? If you did something to him... Please, do send in a complaint. After you find evidence, of course. Well, I can't find any. An evil smile flickers across his face for a moment, and is gone. I do not like the look of that smile. He did something to Ryota, didn't he? Yep, but I can't find it because it's probably in his body. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. I hope so. Kimete! Oh boy. Sir! Well done! You got even better! Keep up the good work! Aw, oh, thank you, sir! Yes, sir! Success! Yes! 
Finally, I'm doing something good, especially math. Okay, so it's the last day. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Really, in July? Sometimes it seemed long, and sometimes it seemed short. But either way, it's summer now. Okay. I think Sukuya said to help him clean the council room before going home. He always gets angry if I make him wait, so I should hurry. You're late! Oh, I'm sorry! I came as fast as I could! Sorry, Sukuya. Let's get cleaning. Very well. First, move the shelf and chairs. There's dust underneath. Okay. Okay. Next, inside the cupboard. Arrange the files by date. Seriously? Okay. And then the floor. Polish it at least three times. In the window. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Are you telling me to do this all by myself? Yeah, seriously, you're not gonna pitch in? Who else is there? You! You bonehead! Wow. We hear that growl. Maybe I should stand up to him. Uh, should I or should I not? To tell you the truth, I don't even think he knows how to clean because he probably has the maids and everything else helping him around. So, I'll say... I'll just do it myself. Well, alright, you can sit there and tell me what to do. Excellent! And so the council room was polished until it shone with the light of a thousand suns. Just as planned. Ugh, I went along with him! Well, what can I say? Does he even know how to clean? It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. Yep. A hunter gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. That's a good plan. Except for where are you gonna go? Okay, the town or city? I guess not. The shrine? No? This dilapidated city? What in the world was that? Or the hills? No? Where am I going? I'm going to say I'm at a different shrine now. Ah, that was a good run. A trim running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kick in. Where am I? Exactly, where are you? Do you have a map? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? I have no idea. Don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing instinct. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you. Okay, who's this? Oh, look at this! That's a totally cute bird! Man, I don't know you. Where you come from? Uh, do you live here? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Oh, that's a sparrow. How cute. Oh, look at that. That's a cute scooter. It's Blaster. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. Oh, it's a she. It looks a little bit vinched. How cute. <laughs> I feel strange pressure. I can tell right away that the sparrow isn't just any birdie. Then who is she? Um, I'm from St. Pidgeot Nations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. Exactly how far am I? It's about two hour drive from here. Two hours? What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Why didn't you stop? Ah, uh, I wonder if I'd be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrows gestured at a scooter. Does it actually fit two people? It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Yeah, what is your name? Koshiba Azami. Oh, that's new. I tell Tokoyaki. And when was that? Call me Azami. Thank you. Then thank you, Azami. Man, look at the sky. You're a very cautious driver. So we're running by the speed limit? Carve into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both of our lives. That makes sense. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you lost someone, you'll understand. Oh, okay, so she lost someone? Is that why she's very cautious? There's a far out look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. We're going that slow? Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. Okay. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of our credo. Okay. 
Isn't writing tandem against the law too? What? That rules for humans. Okay, for not birds. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. Well, that makes sense. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. That makes sense too. And so we putted it at zombie's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Well, that taught you a lesson. You shouldn't run where you don't know where you're going. It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job, since I have the chance. L. Well, that'd be a good idea, because I need money, and I have no idea where the money that she's getting from, so I'll go get a job. After all, it's tradition for a teenager to get a part-time job during summer. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was a cafe, right? Oh, it's a cafe. What kind of cafe? Oh, look at that! All the birds are in there. How cute! It's beautiful in here. Oh, my! Oh, look at this birdie! How cute! It, what kind of bird is it? Looks like a parakeet. Pardon me, miss. But we're not open yet. Really? If you could come back at noon. What is with um, these birds and Christmas music? Oh, sorry. I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. Yes, I knew it! It is a parakeet! How cute! A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what the people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Well, I don't know about you. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I'm called Yurushihara Kenzaburo, and I'm the owner of Torimi Cafe. I'm Kamei Kagala. Welcome, Miss Kagala. I haven't expected a human. Well, what can I say? I'm full of surprises. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more compatible than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to! After all, I am in Vitality, girl. Now she'll be relying on you for the summer then, Miss Kagala. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Well, yes, I have nothing to do tomorrow. Of course! Then I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Oh, really? Tomorrow then, Miss Kagala. Well, that's that. I finally got a job. Today is my first day of working at Mr. Yuroshihara's cafe. And then I'll leave early to make a good impression. Well, here we go. They don't open till 12, right? Good morning, Miss Kagala. Good morning, sir. I wonder, though, is the cafe where the little tree is with the birds? The hen will do they get their tea? Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. Well, thank you! He shows me around the cafe, displaying everything inside. The shop is small, and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Oh, that's good. Well then, what do you think? I'll take it. It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my half. Okay, what? Excuse me. Alrighty, who's this? Oh, it's Ryota! Um, I saw the flyer at the station in. Ryota! Kagala? What are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Kagala. Yep, best buddies. Oh, yes, this is Ryota. You came for the job too, Ryota. Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. He has another job? Oh yeah, he has to work to help his um, sick mother. But if you already got the position then, that's that. Um, Mr. Yuroshihara, could you use two people? Hmm, sadly my cage is too small to have that much work to do. Yeah, I should... Do the job I was hired for, or give the job to Ryota. You know what, actually, maybe I don't need the job because I already got enough money from who knows where, and Ryota definitely needs the jobs to help his sick mother and all. You know what, I'm gonna give the job to Ryota. He deserves it. Mr. Yurashihara, do you think you could take Ryota instead of me? Kakala! 
I don't see why not, but... I don't really need the job. What the uh, the uh? But Ryota does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. Are you sure, Kagala? It's not really fair to you. Oh, please, I insist. You take it. I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day, too, but... Ryota worked several jobs every summer to support his mother. Yep, I was right about that. Mr. Yuro Shihara is a real gentle bird, and Ryota deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. Yes, it is. I know you'll do a good job, Ryota. I... Thanks, Kagala. No problem. Well then, our encounter has been as transient as a comet's tail on the horizon. But I'm glad I met you. Please do stop by. I will always be here, Miss Kagala. Ah, thank you. I will. Thank you, Mr. Yurashihara. I actually got that right. Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Invite... Well, I got this list of birdies, Ryota, Sukuya, Nageki, Yuya, San, Kuzuaki, and Shu. So let's invite Ryota. Get, have a, let's have a fun time. Thanks for inviting me, Kagala. Come on, let's go. So many boosts. How are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter gather instincts, Kagala. Let's go find something to eat. I'll pay. Oh no, I shouldn't do that. What? No fair, I'm paying for yours. It's a deal. Yakitori sounds good right about now. What? And so I spent a happy evening with Ryota. What is Yakitori and why do you look alarmed? Maybe we can go again next year. I love me some Yakitori. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. Ah, oh, I... Great, I skipped that one. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Ah, oh, great. Let me guess, I missed class? Oh, hello, Kamede. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Overslept. Overslept. Okay. Ah, uh, my homework. I forgot to bring my homework. Is that what it is? Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Kamede? Why? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? Uh, oh. You're just a little bit early. Okay, so I had a lot of time then. What? Well, uh, so, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Kamede? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library, I want to... Okay, help Mr. Nanaki study in the library or return to my glorious abode. You know what, I spent too much time worrying about this stuff, so... I'm going home. Need to get some sleep. Forgive me, sir, but I need to go home. I must return to my people with the spoils of war. Lay my bloody sword at the feet of my great king and celebrate my conquest of all the lands from here to distant Macadania. Oh, have fun! I have no idea if he took that really seriously or not. Um, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Woo! Oko-san is always having fun. Yep, yep. What is this fun? Ah, uh, well, I guess not. Seriously, Sukuya? You never have fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Are you sleeping? Yes, you are. Focus, sir! Focus! Okay, second term. Here we go. Huh? Is that a student ID? Okay. Whose is it? Someone from 2-2? Not a name I recognize. Who would lose their ID? Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Yeah, I think so. Sir! Okay, you're sleeping? Seriously? Sir! Oh! Hello, Kagala. Did you forget to turn your homework? Uh, no. I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Kagala. I can take care of it. Huh? What's wrong? What is it? Nothing, just... You did find us today, right, Kinemede? Yep, just outside the hall. Yes, in the corridor just outside. This student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. 
yet his ID card was found in the corridor outside just now? How in the world did that happen? So then, was the card lying there all summer? No birdie noticed it? I guess not. It's awfully clean though. Shouldn't it be at least dusty? Why would they be carrying the card and then just drop it? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Kamede. That was weird. A student just went missing and this is it? Today's elected day, what should I do? Okay, attend. Might as well keep up with math. I had hoped for something a little bit more interesting from elective, but this is dull. I can just barely keep up, even though Mr. Nanaki explains everything so clearly. So this is all easy for you, Sukuya? Wow! Man, he's really smart, isn't he? Are you trying to curry favor with me? Hmm. As usual, Sukuya. As usual. He looks happy, though. I'm guessing his father and mother didn't give him much compliments. Kagala leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Ah, that was a productive day. Time to go home and indulge in idleness and debauchery. That's what it's called? Hey, Kagala. Hey, Ryota. Ryota, what's up? Want to walk home together? Though, if you were going somewhere else, I... No, let's walk home. I'd love to. The sun's going down already. I guess it's fall now. Yep. The most elegant of seasons. Hey, look, a swallow. The most elegant of birds. Oh, there's this nest! That's a good question. Do they live in buildings, or do they have their own nests in the trees? They're supposed to be done rearing chicks by the start of summer. I guess all birds are changing now. I guess so. I guess so. The chicks are really small. That reminds me of something from a long time ago. Oh, really? Me too. Thank you, Kagala. When I was young, I found Ryota freezing on the ground after falling out of his mother's nest. Aww. Doves breed all year long. No wonder they're everywhere. That was how we met, right? When I found you flopping around in the dirt and carried you back up to your nest. That's mean. Think about it. If I hadn't walked by then, you'd be dead. Wouldn't his mother found him then? Though, you're still not exactly the healthiest bird around. Yeah. Thank you, Kagala. If you haven't found me then, I wouldn't be here now. I remember it as it were yesterday. Ever since, I've always loved your kindness and monkey tree climbing jeans. Aw. And you're just the same as you were then. Never change, okay? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, Ryota. Today is a school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. Oh, how fun! Look at the decorations! I love it. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. Good. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. Where to go? Where to go? Let's see. What are the other classes doing then? Oh, look at you, Ryota! You look so cute in the maid outfit! Kagala, wait! What's up, Ryota? Are you free right now? We got way more customers than we expected. And we could really use another waitress. You're right. Where are they all coming from? Leave it to me, Ryota. I'll give them a taste of my super maid technique. So, I ended up working on my day off. And so I never ended up looking around the festival. Only maids now. But it definitely looks classy. I would definitely eat there myself. Ah. Uh, I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. Oh, well, that's just weird. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Excuse me. Huh? Okay, now what? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Rawamin, I hadn't expected to see them together. That looks really weird. Have they even met before? And you see nothing particular about these numbers. Nothing at all. There's a statistical deviation visible in the data on students from the past few years. And why are you talking to him about it? I had hoped to get some insight from you, but... It would seem I have overestimated you. Really? Sorry I couldn't help then. I'll... Let's see, side with Kazuaki or side with Shu? Since I'm trying to do the Ryota route, I'm guessing I'm getting really close with Mr. Nanaki. So, I'll side with Shu just to go with the Ryota route. 
Even though I don't want it. You should look more closely, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, Kamede. Even the students disrespect you? Pathetic. Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's a work bird. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil? Okay. Even though I stuck up with him, he still, you know, disrespected me. I went to shop too much on the way home. And the sun's already down. Whee! And look at the moon. Look how beautiful this place is. So, do the birds live in the buildings or do they work there? I have no idea. Huh? Who's the cute girl handing up flyers? Is it Azami? Well, be is Ryota! What are you doing, Ryota? The festival's over. Or is that... Is that what you always wear? I have no idea. No, no! This is my job. Okay. What kind of job is that? I guess I made cafe. You're miss... You're misunderstanding. It's just a transvestite cafe. A what? I'm not misunderstanding at all. We need the money. I guess that makes sense. Here, you take a flyer too. Um... Fine. I'll ask for you when I go there. I'll make sure to ask for you. Thank you. I'll be waiting, Kagala. Oh, and my name at work is Kooleen. Aw, that's cute. So address me with that. Thank you, Kooleen. Kooleen? Okay. See you later, Kooleen. I'll tip you big, little lady. I wonder what the other names for the birds are. Ryota, wanna walk home together? Um, sorry. I need to go somewhere right now. Maybe later? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Is something wrong, Ryota? It's nothing. Don't worry about it, Kagala. I have no idea. What's wrong? His smile is incredibly unconvincing. So something is wrong then? Is that what it is? But if he doesn't want me worrying about it, worrying about it won't do any birdie any good. Maybe I'll go to the arcade. Ah, uh, that was fun. I haven't played in a while. I should practice some new songs and get back into the game. Huh? What's Ryota doing over here? Where? Where is he at? And why is he coming out of... What? The hospital? Oh, no. Is something wrong with his mother? Is his mother okay? Oh, she knows us. Ryota, where are you? Kagala. Kagala, I want to talk to you. Is now a good time? Any time's good with me. Of course. What is it? It's probably about his mother. I haven't heard anything about his father. Um, well, yep, sad music on. It has to be about his mother. Sorry, I'm not sure how to say this. Is it your mother? Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I have plenty of time. Lay it on me. Thanks. My mother isn't doing well. She was never very healthy. Oh, really? She did always used to catch colds during the winter. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Even though doves are supposed to fare better in the cold and in heat. She's been getting worse since the end of September. And after a certain point, I couldn't take care of her on my own. So you put her in the hospital so she can get constant care? That's good. And so she's in a hospital now. And that's where you've been going after school. That makes sense. But I hope she gets better soon, Ryota. I hope she gets better too. That'd be really sad for Ryota if she didn't. She won't. Oh no. Sh she won't? She won't get better? Why? He's crying. Aww. Poor thing. Sorry for holding you up, Kagala. See you. Oh no. Where are you going? Ryota! And so he fled into the night. Poor thing. But still, I haven't heard anything about his father. Unless he passed away. We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. And I know exactly how you feel. I hate getting tests. I hate looking what I get afterwards. Kamede! Sir! You're getting better. Keep it up. Yes, sir! Somebody sent me a text message. It's from... Riata. Oh, really? Meet me at the park at 7. Really specific. What's going on? I hope it isn't something bad. It probably is, but I have no idea. I hope his mother's doing fine. Ryota! I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Nope. 
Sorry for dragging you out like this, Kagala. What is it? Is your mother okay? Yeah, is she doing better, or... Yeah, she's fine now, thanks. Oh yeah, I didn't know it. It's Christmas Eve. No wonder it's playing Christmas music. She said, You're old enough already. Go spend the day with someone important. And wouldn't let me back into your room. Aw. Going home is too lonely. So I thought maybe if I talk to you, I feel a little better. And is it working? So you call me. Do you feel better? Yep. Thank you. Aw. Oh. Sorry. Seeing out here on Christmas Eve is kind of sad. Wanna go somewhere? I don't mind, Ryota. Anywhere is fine with you. Aw. And so Ryota and I spent the evening together sitting in the park. That's sweet. It wasn't very Christmassy, but I didn't mind. Yep. At least you spend time with each other. That's better than nothing. Happy New Year! Well, it's raining. That's a good way to start the New Year. But it's raining! Yep. Oh well. I go to the shrine, but this weather makes the wilderness dangerous. I think I'll sleep in like a good girl instead. Yep. I won't be able to send out cars in the rain either. Fiddlesticks. Well, what can I do? It's raining, and what can I do? Happy New Year, everyone! Happy New Year to you! I hope you all had good vacations! I hibernated, like usual. What a shocker! Yep! And now he's sleeping! Sir, wake up! You're still hibernating! Sir, wake up! Oh! Um, I said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Yep, you told it to us plenty of time. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special about this semester. Nothing to worry about. Just wait till next year. You have plenty to worry about. Third term. Man, that was short, the second term. Okay, now what? It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Okay, where are you going? Oh, tomorrow's... And what's this? Legumentis? What? Is it like Valentine's or something? Since it's in February? I think I'll buy some beans. Okay. Today, Lego Mentees of his holiday where you give beans to the boy you like. But apparently, it is you to involve throwing them at pigeons. Okay, that's weird. Disgraceful. Exactly. That'd be bad. Good evening. Here for beans? Yep. Yes. Is there a kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards the bean medleys for racers, but they are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. Yep. I think I'll buy... Okay, Comcorn, Bitter Black Beans, Country Millet, Swollen Hemp, and Racing Blend. Well, since I'm gang at Ryota, I think I should buy the Comcorn. I think that would actually calm his stomach more. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Well, that sells it. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sun birdie. Ryota, wait. Hopefully he accepts it. That would be really bad if he didn't. Huh? Um, do you have a minute? Sure, what's up? Here, Concord for Legumentis. Whoa, thanks, Kagala. Are you sure? Yeah. I love these. They're really good. It said they were easy on bird's stomach. So I thought you might. I know sometimes it's tough, but I like being around you and helping you, Ryota. Thank you, Kagala. That makes me really happy. Aw. You like udon, right? Yep. Let me take you out sometime. Okay. He seems happy. Yay! Actually got the right choice, finally. Tests are over and there's nothing to do but wait for spring break. This semester really was over before I knew it. That side, it's cold. And I need to do something about the temperature of my house before I get sick. Does this place even have a thermostat or do I need to get a blanket? Huh? Someone sent me a text message. Is it Ryota again? In the park. Come quick. Ah, oh boy, what's wrong? Is it his mother? Is his mother okay? Ryota? Ryota is huddled on the bench where we usually meet. Oh boy. Ryota, what's... He's crying? Oh no, his mother? Did his mother pass away? It's still cold out, Ryota. You'll catch cold wild coat on. Right. 
Oh, shoot. This is awkward. Hey, Kagala? My mother. Yeah. Died today. Aww. That is so sad. I'm sorry, Ryota. I can't find words. I had a feeling this conversation would come, but I don't know what to say. I would say give him a hug. She was a dove, but she she always got sick when when it was cold. That's not right. That isn't supposed to happen. Ryota, I'm alone now, Kagala. You're not alone. You got me. You got your buddy. You still have me, don't you? She said the same thing at the end. Did she? Rely on Kagala and let her rely on you. But I think that would be irresponsible of me. Why would you say that? I love you, Kagala. Aww. More than anyone else now. Aw, sweet. I, I love you too, Ryota. But I... How can I say this? Say what? My mother was weak. But it's not that she had a short life for a dove. So, oh no. What are you saying? What are you trying to say, Ryota? If... If you were to marry me... Oh boy. i die much sooner than you. Just because you are a bird, I thought birds developed more since then. We're different species. We have different lifespans too. That's nature. But knowing that from the start, knowing that I would end up leaving you alone, it it just seems too irresponsible. So you're just gonna forget everything about this? Is that it? That doesn't matter. It doesn't mean we can't be together. I love you, Ryota. I wanna be with you until the end. I know what it feels like to be left alone now. I don't want to make you feel this pain, Kagala. I think we should go our separate ways. Oh boy, is this the end? No, we won't. That's what life is, Ryota. It's unfair and painful, and sometimes it seems nothing good will ever happen. But fighting on, following our urge to seek happiness anyway, that's what makes us feel alive. That's how our ancestors lived and died and evolved. It brought us to where we are now. But we... Birds weren't meant to come this far. We advanced more than we were ever meant to. Exactly, you're advanced more than the other birds back then. That doesn't matter. Ryota, I love you. I want to be with you as long as I can. Even if it's just for a little while. I think you want to be with me too. Where's the problem? Kagala. I'm not as healthy or strong as you are. I'm not smart or handsome or rich. Seriously? You're putting yourself down? You don't need to do that. But I'm happy. Thank you. Aw. You don't have to think about it so much, Ryota. We can worry about the future when it comes. Right? Right. I don't think I have calmed down for a while yet, but... I'm glad I was born. If only because I got to be with you. It's like a miracle. Aw. Thank you. Is that the end? We have to part with everyone eventually. If it comes a little early then, that's life. I don't care for how long it is. I'm happy enough just being with Ryota. But live as long as you can, Ryota. Live as long as you can so that you can carry wonderful memories with you when you return to the sky. Okay. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Well, I gotta say, that really took a turn. It's saying credits. Is there anything else afterwards? Okay, Pidgeo Nation. Going to the intro. Oh, look at this. ED number one, while last. Oh, that's him at his mother's grave. Poor thing. Well, I have no idea what to say of this. It seems like it was half happy and half sad because they're happy that they get together but it's sad because his mother passed away and it made him think about the whole future where he's going to pass away before she does and that seems really really depressing. Well I might as well stop right here right now since there will be a lot more going on in the next part but this is all for part 3 of Hattiful Boyfriend. So tell me in the comment section of what do you think about the game so far? It is really deeper than it is. I'm beginning to see what they're saying now about this game. Especially with the whole Ryota ending. Man.
But still, I'm really curious about the other scenes that we've seen so far, like that dilapidated city. And why is there a dilapidated city nearby? Is that where the humans used to live before they have to live in caves? Or do the humans live in buildings as well and just... Kagala just, you know, wants to live in a cave on her own. But for the next part, I'm going to try the Sukuya route because... He's in our same class and I'm willing to see, see what his whole backstory is because we know he's rich, he's French, doesn't do much cleaning and everything else. He's really good at math but I have no idea about the other stuff like his parents, his family, and why is he so mad at his half-brother Yuya. I have no idea. And remember, like, subscribe, share all your friends and I'll see you more in my next video. Bye!